with horseshoes, it's been shown um, previously, 20 to 30 years ago, that when the shoe is on the horse and moving on firm surfaces, the vibration energy becomes very high. It's uh, two to 3,000 megahertz, as opposed to if you have a barefoot horse, it's much less. And that vibration energy that's coursing through the hoof wall, and it's been shown that the vibration energy does not attenuate from the uh, distal to the proximal part. It only attenuates as it's passing through these tissues. That vibration energy has a very deleterious effect on the tissues. It's been shown experimentally that this vibration energy, if it's like over three to 500 megahertz, if it's over that level, the vibration causes the vessels to constrict. A 15, 15 second exposure of this high vibration, it causes the vessels to constrict for three days. And that's the vibration is what's gradually destroying the tissues inside the foot. So that would be like a shod horse <clears throat> trotting on what? A very firm surface, uh, hard rock, driveway, asphalt, tarmac, this sort of thing. And the more and more pads you put between the shoe, you attenuate that vibration to varying degrees. But it's the vibration that's actually gradually killing these horses. And then when you have that, depending on where on the foot you're putting the load. If you've got the shoe, you're loading the hoof to 100%. And again, I believe most of the weight should be on the solar surface. It's just biomechanics. So you don't dislike horseshoes because they uh, prevent the hoof from expanding and contracting? No, no just the vibration. The, these researchers out of Denmark have shown that the vibration is very... Uh, high when they're on these hard surfaces. And they concluded that horses that have shoes should not move above a walk on these hard surfaces. And uh, people just ignore that. Should we be picking at a horse's feet every day? I don't think we should. Uh, because when you see a horse's foot, there's a dirt plug in there depending upon the surface that they're walking on. If they're walking on very hard surface, they don't have much of a dirt plug. And that, what that's going to do, that's going to decrease the surface area that the horse is going to be able to bear its weight on. And by having a, some sort of uh, dirt plug in there, which is going to be whatever's in the barnyard, sand, dirt, small stones, pea rock, and manure, whatever you have, in the, that's going to fill this up, and that's going to act as a cushion or support structure for the solar surface of the foot. If you keep cleaning that out, all of a sudden the loading structure becomes this peripheral part of the foot. And it takes about a day, day and a half to get the dirt plug back to where it's functional. So don't clean your horse's feet up before you're riding? No, no. I don't think you should. So do you not think that horses will get problems with thrush if you don't pick the feet up? Thrush, to me, and what many people have said, it's an opportunistic uh, bacteria. And as a result of that, is it means that the hoof if it's being functional in the proper way where you're stimulating the back part of the foot and that sort of stuff, thrush is really less of a problem. It's only when the horses are standing around inside their stall all the time that you develop thrush in these cases.